Suddenly, the room around me shrunk to dollhouse proportions. Amazed, I stretched out my seemingly giant hand and felt as though I could easily touch the far-off wall opposite my bed. That was April's voice. She is diagnosed with the Alice in Wonderland syndrome. Have you ever heard of this curious and rare medical condition? If not, don't worry, because in today's video we're going to explore what it is, what causes it, and how it can be treated. The name Alice in Wonderland Syndrome was first coined by the British psychiatrist John Todd in 1955. He used this term to describe a rare neurological condition that causes a person to perceive objects and their own body in a distorted and surreal way, similar to how Alice experiences her surroundings in Lewis Carroll's famous book. In fact, the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is thought to have been inspired in part by the author's own experiences with the syndrome. The syndrome is believed to be caused by abnormal activity in certain areas of the brain that are responsible for visual perception and spatial awareness. It can affect people of all ages, but is most commonly seen in children and adolescents. The most common symptoms of Alice in Wonderland syndrome include changes in perception of size, shape, and distance of objects, as well as changes in the perception of one's own body size and shape. For example, a person with this syndrome might perceive objects as being larger or smaller than they actually are, or might feel as if their own body is growing or shrinking. Other symptoms can include distorted sense of time, sound, touch, and taste. Episodes of Alice in Wonderland Syndrome can last anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, and can occur randomly or be triggered by certain factors such as migraines, infections, and sleep deprivation. If you think you may be experiencing symptoms of Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, it's important to see a doctor for an accurate diagnosis. Your doctor may perform various tests, such as a neurological exam, MRI or CT scans, and blood tests to rule out other conditions that may cause similar symptoms. Currently, there is no specific treatment for Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, but certain medications may be prescribed to help manage the symptoms. For example, anti-migraine drugs such as triptans may be used to reduce the frequency and severity of episodes, while antipsychotic medications may be used to help manage hallucinations. In addition to medication, psychotherapy may also be helpful in managing the emotional and psychological impact of the syndrome. A therapist can help a patient develop coping strategies and provide support for the anxiety and stress that may come with experiencing the symptoms. Other complementary therapies such as mindfulness meditation, yoga, and relaxation techniques may also be helpful in reducing the frequency and severity of episodes. These techniques can help promote a sense of calmness and reduce stress, which may trigger or worsen symptoms. It's important to remember that Alice in Wonderland Syndrome is a rare condition and does not usually cause any serious health problems. However, it can be distressing and disruptive to a person's daily life. Seeking help from a medical professional can provide reassurance and support in managing the symptoms. Over the years, Alice in Wonderland Syndrome has captured the imaginations of many artists, writers, and filmmakers. In Tim Burton's 2010 film adaptation of the book, the character of the Mad Hatter, played by Johnny Depp, is depicted as having symptoms of Alice in Wonderland Syndrome which gives the audience a glimpse into how this condition can affect a person's perception of reality. The famous surrealist painter, Salvador Dali, also drew inspiration from Alice in Wonderland Syndrome in his artwork. His paintings, such as The Persistence of Memory, depict distorted and melting clocks, which reflect the distorted sense of time that some people with the syndrome experience. There have also been numerous books written about the syndrome, including Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, Experiencing Size Distortion and Altered States of Consciousness by Jan Dirk Blom. This book explores the history, symptoms, and treatments of the syndrome and offers insights into the subjective experience of those who live with it. And that concludes our video on Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Remember, if you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, don't hesitate to seek help from a healthcare professional. With proper diagnosis and management, it is possible to live a fulfilling and happy life. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. And as always, stay curious.